there's a thread that runs through animation of animated characters alongside the creator. The urge for the animators to put themselves into their own work, I think in part it was probably economic, that shooting live action is certainly going to cut down on the amount of drawings that they would have to do. It's probably self-promotion to a large extent. And also it showed that you were the animator, even though you had 50 guys in back of you drawing this stuff. You were the one in command. And, and a lot of that went to the producer, who, whose name was on it. You know, Fleischer, Disney, Bray, that they were the ones that were doing this. So a lot of people thought they did the whole film themselves for many years. And that kind of uh, idea that they weren't was kind of kept a secret. I always ask, who knows who puts all the string beans into the Campbell soup? And there's no credits on a can. And it seems to be a storyline that audiences responded to because they kept it up for years. And it's interesting that they did that so much where there was so much interaction with the animator and the cartoon character. And so many people now think that that came from Who Framed Roger Rabbit. They did it all the way back to silent animation. So people could not be more wrong. It just seems like a very, very compelling myth, almost. It goes back to creation myths. It's about giving life, you know, bringing life to the world. Normally a godlike attitude, it's like that. But there's also a lovely intimacy to it as well. And it shines a light on what you're doing. You're, you're comically deconstructing what you're doing. We've used the same idea, exactly the same idea, but in a different medium with Morph.